we're back in the attic. So we got a furnace here, it's a no heat call. Um, it's an upflow in an attic. So what's going on here is uh, the fan's just running non-stop. So we're gonna check to see what's going on now. Usually what'll happen is uh, if a rollout is tripped or a high limit is tripped, it's gonna just run the fan until it's reset. So looking here, this has got one of those uh, burnable fuse or these fused links. So if this was set off, it would have burnt out. So, and it also has a rollout. Um, so I've already checked for voltage to make sure I'm not getting a call for fan, which I'm not. And this is a 1988 day and night, by the way. Uh, so it's a natural draft furnace. So we're gonna see if, uh, if any of this stuff is tripped. So here we go. Okay, so the high limit is I have continuity, so that's working. And we shall see if this rollout switch is tripped. It doesn't seem like it is, so it could just be a stuck relay. Um, so we're going to dig a little further. Okay, so we got this open. Um, we got it powered on, and I'm not getting any voltage between R and C. So let's see if we're getting high voltage. That's going to be 120 going in. Sorry, the light's not that great in here. So we're getting high voltage. Uh, let's see, let's make sure we're getting power to the transformer, which is gonna be these guys here. Okay, so now we wanna see if we're getting power out of the transformer. So it's a possibility that it could be set where the unit doesn't run, it'll just run the fan if uh, transformers out which it looks like it's out because I'm not getting any secondary transfer all right so we're gonna go ahead and pull these wires and check directly and all righty so um, I got my leads connected directly uh, to the transformer so we give it power no voltage okay now if we hook this back up so it looks like it is a safety so pretty much when the transformer goes out it's gonna run the fan probably to tell the client to uh, call somebody. Uh, so I got the fan connected again. And as you can see, the transformer is completely disconnected from the board. The fan comes on. So it must have a normally closed, um, a normally closed relay, one of these. So pretty much when it's not receiving power, it's closed. So it's allowing high voltage to the motor. So, cause it's running in low, um, what do you call it? Low, uh, low speed. So anyway, looks like we got a bad transformer. So we're going to go let them know. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to do a quick check for shorts. Um, make sure that there's, uh, see if I can find a cause for it to die. Now it is 1988 and the transformer looks pretty bad, but we're going to double check anyway. So, alrighty. So I'm ohming out the, uh, transformer. So, um, it's pretty much dead. I got an open line. So it looks like it just, the coil burnt up. So yeah. Okay, so I have checks for shorts. Um, when you go to W, um, you're gonna get a tone, and that's because it's connected to the C, and the C is connected to ground. So yeah, the, the only real way to do it is to take all the wires off. Um, but uh, I inspected everything, and I don't can't find a short. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put a new transformer on, and then I'll put a, a fuse on it. Um, I have a a popper, it's just pretty much like a little breaker. So if there's a short, we'll find it that way. I checked the capacitor; it's out of spec. Blower motor ran it in full speed. Um, it's only running at three amps. So I think the motor's okay. I don't know if this uh, ignition module's still good, and I don't know if the rest of it's any good. So. We're going to start with the transformer, see if we can get it to run, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, 
Okay, so we're prepping our um, new transformer. So I'm putting on these uh, female spade connectors. Just makes everything easier. Um, so it's pretty simple to do. You just, uh, you know, make sure it's not too long. And you just slide that in there like that. Just like that. And then you just crimp it. So I have these Klein... Um, strippers but they're also crimpers as you can see so we'll show you how that works okay so you just basically get make sure the wire's in all the way and then you just squish it and it, what it does is it pinches that wire and then there you go okay so we got the new transformer in place as a temporary i just want to make sure that it's working um so and then the fan's gonna come on, but. So we got 24 volts, or 27 to be exact. So now we're gonna hook it into the board, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use, um, and I'm gonna put a fuse in this, but I'm gonna use this temporarily, so if there is a short, it'll pop this, so I don't run out of fuses, uh, just to make sure there's no shorts. So we're gonna get this all wired up, so here we go. Okay, so moment of truth. Uh, we got this hooked in. Okay, well, I saw the the uh, relay closed, but it's running in high speed, so I wonder if uh, I'm getting a call from the uh, thermostat, so let's take a look here. Okay, so we were getting a call for fan from the thermostat, so I just disconnected that and saved me a trip. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump out R to W to get the heat to come on, so hopefully it doesn't pop my popper, so here we go. Alright, well we got our pilot. So, so far so good. So hopefully it just doesn't roll out and get me in the face. So, I'm actually kind of standing off to the side just in case. Alright, pilot's lit, thermal coupler's on. Uh, we should be getting a burner coming on in a minute. Oh, here's some clicking. There we go. All right, well, we got main burner. Now we will see if our fan comes on. As far as I can see, this doesn't have a fan switch on it. may actually need a call from fan. So anyway, we're gonna see if the fan comes on on its own. So we'll be right back. All right, so our fan came on, so it looks like we're back in business. All right, so we're just gonna watch it for a little bit, make sure it's okay, but I think we're back in business. So 1988, day and night. Alrighty, so we got her all wired up. So we put in our five amp fuse here. Uh, basically you just put uh, two female spade connectors and then just put it on the prongs. I wrap it with tape because they're metal, so it doesn't short against nothing. And then zip tied everything back together. So she's good to go. Then I put that uh, fan call button or fan call wire back on. Uh, so all we got to do now is just put the panel on and test everything from the thermostat and call it a day. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Tell me what a horrible technician I am in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>